Hello everyone and welcome to Generation 5 of the Dark Moon Pack here in Wolf Quest 3 with B and Cliff as they start racing their way home completely exhausted but very satisfied and full now that they have gone ahead and hunted some food for their wolf pups. We're hauling back some of the meat chunks to our mini mini daughters who are waiting at the den for us. Lilac, Kaleidoscope, Honey, Plum, and Morning Glow. Lori, all of whom are getting pretty close to 15 pounds, but not quite there, especially our very dainty little morning glory, and our very easily distracted and wanders around all over the place kaleidoscope, who I have to admit has definitely, oh, there they are, has definitely stood out to me quite a bit. I just can't even decide like which one of the wolf pups personalities I love the most just yet. Honey is super sweet. Plum, Plum is, Plum and Lilac, I don't know if we've seen a lot of their personality just yet. Morning Glory is definitely sort of the smallest of the group. I wouldn't say she's the runt of the litter, but she very much is uh, teensy compared to the rest of her sisters. Let's see, and then Kaleidoscope. I just have really fallen for Kaleidoscope's personality and so many of you guys have too, because she is always wandering all over the place. And she does make me wonder if we might finally have a wolf who would be sort of, Kalilak! <laughs> like one of those uh, endless wanderers. I think Honey is super sweet, but she's also like really, really, um, naive and or like really friendly and I actually wonder if, if Honey ended up becoming the heir if her challenge might be that she would never get in another fight with another wolf even if they raided her den we'd have to rely just on like defensively trying to pick up the wolf pups and shoving them into the den and then we'd have to rely on her mate to be the one to fight other wolves because maybe she's just too sweet for her own good. You do need to be a little bit tough and rough as a predator to be able to like defend your territory after all. But if honey is just too sweet, that would actually be a very interesting challenge as well. And meanwhile, Morning Glory is just so small. She's adorable. Kaleidoscope, our little wanderer. Like, look at all the girls. <laughs> I feel like every now and then Cliff just looks at the gigantic pile of pups and he's just like, okay, there's a lot of you. <laughs> How do I how do I maintain this? All right, pack affinity is way up. The puppies are surrounding her. This is definitely a moment where our wonderful girl B would actually go ahead and just rest with her puppies. She is getting to the point now that they're older where she really likes when they're just a gigantic puppy pile all surrounding her and uh, like just flopping all over the place being adorable. <gasps> It's getting ready to be time to leave soon. Yes! Morning Glory, if only you would eat more. <laughs> All right, how's our territory doing? Not bad, actually. Our territory is doing fairly good. Uh, how is the flea situation is mild, which is a lot better than compared to poor Atlas and Breeze and their flea situation. So you know what? I think we might actually... B is definitely always one to just keep rusting through the night if she could. We might try to go back and grab what bits of the carcass we can from whatever is left. And then, let's see, where's Morning Glory? Morning Glory, here, eat some, eat some regurgitated food. The food does not go nearly as far with this group as it does with Atlas and Breeze because we have so many more puppies. <laughs> All right, Lilac is wandering around again. Okay, Lilac definitely, I think, maybe sticks her nose where it shouldn't belong. Uh, so I wonder if Lilac might grow up to be the kind of wolf who tries to shove into stranger wolf territory. And maybe her challenge would be that she would need to go ahead and go into the heart of stranger wolf territory at least once. Like each territory spot at least once. That would be a little bit tricky. I don't know what she would do there. Maybe just investigate. All right, honey, going to see your dad. All right, let's grab honey then. And in fact, should I go ahead and maybe grab all the pups and put them away for a minute? Let's maybe go grab that carcass while it's still there. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, geez. Lilac, lilac, lilac. Okay, lilac. Cliff chased off the coyotes, but Lilac, I think she froze. She was just too scared to move, you guys. Lilac, in the den! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember when I said Lilac might be the kind to grow up and stick her nose where it doesn't belong? Yeah, somebody please put that in the comments to remind me because holy cow, that was a little bit too apt. I guess it does smell tantalizingly like a lot of regurgitated meat and all this delicious food. But you know what? That would definitely irritate B enough that we're going to go head back towards where the carcass is. Strengthen up our territory, because rude. Yes, I know it's still strong. I don't care. We're going to keep it super strong. Uh, let's see. Cliff, oh, Cliff is feeling relaxed. I, I think that he doesn't think coyotes are that big a deal. All right. And even though B is not a big fan of, like, hunting at night, just because, we're going to have her go ahead and go snag some of her food because she is a big fan of an easy meal and the carcass being over here becomes an easy meal. Well, ah, no, 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 I'm not gonna be, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so what do we have here? All right, is this, is this the mom? Okay, dang it. If I could snag a, a newborn ungulate, that would be amazing. However, every time, this is gonna be a rabbit, isn't it? Yeah, there's a bull and here's a mom standing being suspicious. Does she smell? Yeah, mother and baby herd. So that means that there is a baby somewhere in the area. And if I can keep an eye on the mom, usually she'll rush us when we get close to where her baby might be hiding. Because she'll suddenly whip around and be like, oh no, you don't. And that might be the best giveaway of where to keep looking. Okay, what about over here? Hmm? No. She doesn't care about that. Like I said, B is a fan of easy meals. Come on, mom and baby music. Wow, it's so hard. Every time, and it's really hard to kind of like search all of the corners. All right, the tall grasses. But you have to give them props because like, that just means the mom is definitely hiding her baby quite well. Yeah, and there's a, a bull elk and she would start rushing if he was standing in the wrong spot too. Come on, where, oh, where could this little, like, newborn ungulate hiding in the grasses be? Over here? What about over here? Is that a potential patch? All right, all right. We're gonna lose out all of our food if I keep this up too long. However, I can't help it because Bee, Bee really loves easy meals. What about this one? Please. Please. Ah. What about this one? Gosh darn it. What about this one? It's like starting to get a little brighter so it's a little easier to see. No, she hasn't budged. But it has to be somewhere close by. Over here? All right, that's it. I'm gonna have to just wait until, <gasps> oh! Hey! <laughs> no, Lilac! <laughs> Dang it! Okay, yes, I got a baby elk! Like, yay! And that's a lot more food, like, than a little meat chunk would have brought back to our pups after all. Uh, but Boo, Lilac! <laughs> Why does she have to be the one to get sick? She's also our biggest one, so I can only imagine maybe she ate something she wasn't supposed to. I, like, no, this is gonna bring such bad flashbacks for poor, poor, poor B. She just lost Jet, and he was kind of a runt to begin with. So, like, on the one hand, I think over time, B could understand, like, well, maybe he just wasn't very healthy to begin with. And she could find some semblance of peace with that. But now that we've gone and like had our biggest wolf pup get sick, the the one that like looks hardy and reliable and you're like, oh, she's gonna do just fine. All right, hold still, Bun Bun. No, you don't. I'm feeding every, oh my gosh. 
All right, well, this is one determined mom. That's fine. Here, the, you look this way. The kids are coming out because you absolutely look like an exceptionally determined mother right now. And I just want to memorialize that moment. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's jump down. Lilac, we're not gonna let you be sick. Give me just a second. I put the carcass down somewhere over here. Oh, come on. All right, where is it? I know the pups are outside, but I literally was just here like a minute ago. Oh, it was close enough that it counted and Lilac came right over to chow it down. Good job, little ones. All right, let me move it closer to home. I was really irritated if I lost that carcass <laughs> to run after a rabbit at the last minute. All right, come along, girls. Closer to the house, please. Closer to the house. All right, honey, honey is already going back inside. There's Plum, Morning Glory. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and now, oh, honey is also now really big. So we're really just waiting on Morning Glory and Kaleidoscope. All right, we need to come and eat everything. And we'll go ahead. All right, you can turn right back around, girls. I know, I know, kind of rude. Like, but mom, you just told us to go inside. I know, technically just joking, sorry. Very sorry. All right, Lilac, we gotta spend some time with Lilac. Is she already better? No, she is not better. But she's only the tiniest bit sick. So I'm gonna say that we don't even really know she's sick. Cause come on, she's she's quite the, the hefty, chunky, healthy pup. You wouldn't think that she was sick. So while she is so healthy and hefty chonky, we might sleep once the pups are, yeah, everybody's almost at, we'll wait till Plum finishes eating, uh, whenever that is. And then once everybody has full tummies, we might go ahead and sleep because that will help everybody grow a little faster. And we also need B to be able to get what rest she can. Oh, I'm gonna sleep, but I'm gonna sleep after we get pack affinity up to 100%. <laughs> like we literally just had Zephyr the second survive his illness. And I think it's because we spent so much time at the den. I might need to patch up a little bit of our territory if we're gonna do that. All right. But yeah, I don't think right now B knows that Lilac is sick. So let's go ahead and nap. We're going to need B to have energy if we're going to chase away any potential dangers to our pups. So I got to make sure she, like, rests plenty. We already brought back two types of food. There's a bunny and there is that little one. 83%. Okay. And we're very close to summer hunting ground territory with Worn and Glory and Kaleidoscope. Yeah, I feel like... Okay, do any of my pups want to hold still for a second so we can get some cute pup pictures? Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and wiggle this way. Why is it the pups who look just like the parents who are the ones getting sick lately? Have you guys noticed that? It's the pups where you're like, oh, that's like a dead ringer for... <laughs> for so-and-so. All right, let's try one more time. Oh my gosh, there's the Blood Moon pack is howling really close by, but we're not gonna let that bother us. We're just gonna have a nice little picture <laughs> that is not going to be the traditional picture of doom <laughs> right before a pup dies. For sure, that's not what that is. All right. Meanwhile, I can hear the Blood Moon pack awful close, which is not a nice thing. A little frustrating there. And how are the little ones? Kaleidoscope and Morning Glory are almost ready. So, you know what? I know this is a little weird, but we're going to go ahead and nap. Dangerous to you while we're sick, but I'm hoping maybe if we can scooch... Oh, man. <sighs> now it's raining. I'm hoping if we can scooch to the summer hunting grounds, there'll be even more ungulates all over the place and it'll be easier and easier and maybe easy to spend a lot of time with Lilac whilst we are moving. So, dang it, morning glory. <laughs> we're literally like,
like one little chunk of food in Morning Glory's belly away. And actually, Lilac is kind of holding up pretty well for a sick pup. She is definitely doing a lot better than her cousin, Zephyr the second was, because he just kind of nosedived to 10% sick, like, immediately. Kaleidoscope, <laughs> please don't wander off too far. All right, well, you guys, we're almost there. We are right on the cusp of the summer hunting season with Generation 5, and really with Generation 6 wolf pups, to be honest, which means we're getting close close finally to carrying on with another generation and seeing where the story of these young pups will take us we just need to make sure that they can get to adulthood first so if you guys could do please leave a like for little lilac to be able to get better and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye